Dear students, the next type of polymerization is uh, condensation polymerization. As I told you in the beginning of the session, addition polymerization, it is a growing chain type. Continuously we add mix mix monomers and form the polymer. And in condensation process, uh, sometimes we will uh, lose or we will remove a molecule of water in between or ammonia molecule. So condensation polymerization is their next target. In condensation polymerization, we are going to talk about the first category, the most used by many of us, uh, that is nylon 66. And you may be asking nylon, we have learned why the name came, uh, or uh, some interpretation. And uh, 66, what is the reason? So, let us understand the chemical behavior or uh, how it is being prepared from the molecules, uh, the learning becomes easier. For the preparation of nylon, we have to take hexamethylene diamine, that is NH2, CH2 molecule 6 times, again NH2. I am writing NH2 this way because easily we can remove a molecule of water. And uh, that will react with the adipic acid a molecule is having two sides uh, carboxylic acid group and uh, four molecules of four uh, methylene groups. And if you closely see the number of carbon atoms here is six times and here one plus four plus uh, one, so here also six times. That is why nylon six six. And uh, this molecule, it's a condensation type of polymerization. So when we are uh, uh, adding both these reactant, hexamethylene diamine and adipic acid, there is uh, a loss of water molecule, and you will get the polymer form. Similarly, the neighboring place hexamethylene diamine will react with acid and here an adipic acid molecule will react with this amino group so that hydrogen and OH group will be removed and even though the equation looks uh, very lengthy and just like that you can write as a product equation. How? See look at this here after removal of hydrogen beside NH and here CH2 six times and we have NH group water is removed and uh, after the loss of uh, molecule of water water can be removed this way we have C double bond O and uh, CH2 four times and uh, C double bond O and O which will be removed with the neighboring molecule of hexamethylene diamine amino group and acid group will uh, react. Now if you see this molecule is taken uh, n times. These two molecules n times taken the product will also will get uh, n times. So hexamethylene adipomide is the final product uh, that we call it as a nylon 66. What are the uses of this uh, nylon 66? As I told you it is a very very tough fiber with a high tensile capacity. You can see this in nylon ropes, the cricket stadium, the boundary line with the rope and uh, sometimes uh, as a barricade they use the nylon rope and some of your uh, shoes lace are made up of nylon and in your bag uh, the tag part of it is made up of nylon and that is very very tough in nature, you easily you can't break it. That is because of this condensation polymerization. It's a polyamide type of uh, linkage. So look at that NHC double bond O amide type. Is used to make sheets, bristles for brushes, textiles, and tire cord. So we have to talk about the nylon six. So that forms from caprolactam, I am 
like the formula that molecule is having a seven member ring where n h group is here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and it is having a keto group here so this caprolactam molecule goes for an inert atmosphere they have the presence of little bit of a water molecule. So this happens at uh, around uh, 533 Kelvin when we are heating. A bond breaks here and we supply a molecule of water H2O. The mild hydrolysis will take place. So because of that you will get a compound uh, NH2. CH2 5 times and then COOH. So totally the number of carbon atoms becomes a 6, 5 plus 1 is a 6. So this caproic acid formed, caproic acid formed will go for polymerization process. Same concept. This molecule is having one side uh, amino group and other side carboxylic acid group. As usual, this carboxylic acid will join with a neighboring carboxylic acid amino group. So, amino group acid will uh, react to form a uh, polyamide type of uh, linkage. So, many times this polymer will be formed. Uh, then the final product formed is going to be 9 on 6. So this is uh, used in uh, making of tires and making of uh, many of the fabrics. That is the textile bag with the uh, uh, um, caprolactam or nylon 6 they will manufacture. So this is uh, an interesting polymer. The cons, fabrics and ropes. Terling or tacron. I think this word would have uh, learned. So that's polyamide type and this is a polyester type. Now I think you are able to understand the word, it's a familiar word, polyester. When we talk about textiles, we talk about pet bottle, polyethylene, tetabethyl, your uh, lift pet, shri pet, the bottles. Terlin, what is uh, terlin? It is a combination of uh, and ethylene glycol see you have to understand ethylene molecule with the two OH group they call it as a glycol ethylene glycol is going to be treated with a terephthalic acid terephthalic acid formula both sides acid group but in between you have a benzene group. so we talk about benzene dioic acid 1 comma 4 that is para position we have a carboxylic acid 2 in number <coughs> now as I told you formation of an ester polyester that means uh, one of this molecule will lose hydrogen this will lose OH group in between the molecule of water will be removed similarly here the molecule of water will be lost so this way when we are losing molecule of water here we can see the whole molecule n times will be repeated. Why this OH group is uh, outside and obviously the next ethylene glycol molecule. See you have to understand ethylene glycol number one, number two is uh, tertalic acid, number three is ethylene glycol. So two and three will react that is uh, tertalic acid and uh, ethylene glycol will react. There again one more water molecule will be lost. So overall, around the 2n minus 1 water molecules will be lost. And the final product will be, as such I am going to write it is easy for you. So this side, hydrogen is missing. O, CH2, CH2, here one O, and the C double bond O, and this is benzene ring, and again C double bond O. So this linkage goes many numbers. The name if you carefully look at it, terephthalic acid they have taken terri 
and uh, ethylene uh, they are taken in. So terylene. So the commonly they call as PET means uh, poly many ethylene tetrahedra. They are talking about ester. So you know the use of uh, polyethylene tetrahedra. It is uh, used for making the bottles. Uh, and uh, when they prepare the glass, nowadays they go for a terylene coating, fiber coating. That means uh, the glass may not break easily. Sometimes inside the helmet they prepare a layer of uh, um, terylene so that the tensile capacity or strength of the helmet can be assured. So this is how they prepare a terylene. Crease resistant. Therefore, it is often blended with cotton and or wool. It is also used as glass reinforcing material in safety helmets. And then uh, in condensation polymerization, we have to talk about the preparation of the bake light. This is a very, very useful uh, polymer. Uh, be it uh, your uh, tubular manufacturing or the household things, uh, bake lights importance is very important. And uh, this particular uh, bake light is a combination of uh, two materials. Uh, one is phenol and uh, other one is formaldehyde. I hope boys you are uh, familiar with these two chemicals. Uh, Phenol is nothing but a hydroxy benzene, benzene molecule with the one Ovich group. And formaldehyde is the simplest alloy known. It has a formula HCHO. Formaldehyde, formaldehyde. But formaldehyde can be written this way also. And hydrogen, C double bond to hydrogen. For our easy understanding, we can go in that line also. Now, when we go for phenol and formaldehyde combination, then I can write this molecule, all the sites uh, benzene ring carries a hydrogen atom. To this OH group, this position is ortho. To this OH group, this portion is a para. I think you have learned to learn standard D. Now, the same formal date, I am writing the formula CH2 double bond O, just for your easy understanding. So, the hydrogen available in ortho portion will go and break the double bond and join with the oxygen. So, it becomes single bond and OH, and thereby it gets attached to the ortho portion. Similarly, you can do it in the para question too. So, because of that, you will get two types of molecules. I will write in one molecule which is having OH group here, and at ortho position, we have CH2OH group. Ortho, hydroxy, phenyl, methyl alcohol, you can say. And uh, next one. You see this uh, CH2OH group is attached to it. Ortho, hydroxy, phenyl, methanol. Methyl alcohol, you can call it as methanol also. So, this is another combination. So, this is an ortho position and this is in a para position. We are going to talk about this ortho, hydroxy, phenyl, methanol will react with the phenol again to go for a next polymerization that I read here that is the benzene ring and here the OH group when the CH2 and the OH here then that reacts with the, the molecule of the orthohydroxy so this continuously goes imagine this hydrogen and this OH group will react, uh, there will be a loss of water molecule. Similarly, it will uh, carry on here. Similarly, it will carry on on the left hand side also. 
thereby after the loss of water molecule this get connected so you will get a new compound that is called as a no lock that is a combination of this ortho isomers along so this molecule is now going to react with more amount of formaldehyde hcho imagine the similar structure i revered a benzene ring and here we have a ch2 group and oh group and another molecule of the site it goes up then got connected ch2 and oh group and between these two molecule this formaldehyde is going to react how this hydrogen of the first chain and this hydrogen of the second chain is benzene ring is going to react with this uh, aldehyde group that is formaldehyde now what is going to happen there will be loss of a molecule of water similarly here it gets removed so ch2 double bond o a molecule of water will be removed and there by a two linear chains uh, will now get connected with the ch2 group and you will go for a process of cross linking both the chains will join now this will continuously go on the left hand side and the right hand side and you will get a formation of the cross linked polymer and very strong and sometimes when it is a liquid polymer it is uh, used as a shining coating over the materials uh, wooden materials uh, and if it is a tough polymer very heavily prepared uh, nowadays they are going for pure door making that is a type of coating over the um, front doors that will protect the door for very long time so they are called as a bake bake like coating for that they go for a this process of a phenol formaldehyde resin on condensation polymerization to give finally and here the molecule melamine is a six member ring there three position we have a nitro atom called as nitrogen and it has alternating double bond structure and the alternate positions it is being attached to the three of the amino group so this is the formula of a melamine that is going to react with the formaldehyde in the previous portion i told you hcho can be written as hc double bond o and h for your easy understanding and writing uh, ch2 double bond so you can see this uh, amino hydrogen can be separated like this one of this hydrogen will get shifted here the double bond will get converted into single bond and you will get oh formed and after the reactivity the molecule will be like this ch2 oh so melamine formaldehyde finally uh, combined to give a methyl alcohol methanol type of product same way is will get attached in all these positions ch2 oh all these amino position with the reaction with the formaldehyde they are converted into an alcohol group as usual you know boys when we are um, reacting with a neighboring molecule the polymerization process starts uh, and because of the polymerization the oh group uh, will react with the neighboring molecule by the loss of water molecule the continuously the chain will go grow in all the direction in a cross linked manner so this will give in a short time very very tough material 
and the tough material is used in most of our unbreakable crockery. For example, in the kitchen we use uh, some of the vessels or plates uh, which are unbreakable in nature and very tough uh, and easy to handle. All these materials uh, are a substitute for our um, stainless steel. Stainless steels are long lasting but sometimes they are uh, uh, heavy to be handled. Uh, nowadays these uh, melamine crockeries uh, we are receiving, they are less weight but very tough, unbreakable in nature. And uh, sometimes even in our uh, canteen they supply the food uh, in these crockery items. So this is a uh, melamine formaldehyde. condensation polymerization the next type of polymer we are going to discuss is uh, urea formaldehyde polymer it's a wonderful polymer nowadays for making lot of hard seeds uh, which are attaching the wood and also sometimes when we prepare the interior uh, set of wardrobes or cupboards uh, they go for mdf boards for all of them, we go for a tough variety polymer. For that, the best choice will be urea formalin because it is a cross-linked polymer type of a polymerization. And as you know, in condensation polymerization, it is otherwise known as a step growth polymerization. Here also, we have we are going to learn about how urea and formalin are going for polymerization step by step and how the chain length is growing. So, first to start with, uh, let us understand, you know what is meant by formalin, that as uh, HCHO is uh, the formula, or you can write that as the CH2 double bond O, this way also you can write, uh, for our EC reactivity. And urea you have to understand, because we learned uh, about urea, Urea is a very important chemical uh, which is useful as fertilizer and our country is uh, very much dependent on uh, urea. And what is the formula of urea? It is nothing but NH2 C double bond O and NH2. Can be uh, diamino ketone type or diamide cancer. And these two hydrogen I separate this way so that for uh, easy reactivity we are going to react one molecule of urea with uh, formaldehyde and uh, I am writing formaldehyde this way and when one of the hydrogen goes and get attached to this oxygen the double bond will be broken and you will get OH group uh, formed. Then that group, the formaldehyde group will get attached here with urea you will get the next compound NH2 C double bond O NH and CH2 OH and this particular molecule is a combination of uh, urea and formaldehyde they call it as urea monomethylol monomethylol and again that is going to react with one more molecule of formaldehyde that means uh, one of this hydrogen I can write this way that will go and uh, join with this oxygen so the resultant product will be HO CH2 NH C double bond O NH CH2 OH if you closely watch the molecule, the urea molecule is at the center and it is having two methylol groups. That's why this is called as a urea dimethylol. 
So the next step is an important step where it goes for the condensation polymerization by the, by the loss of water molecules on all the directions. Thereby it will go for a cross-linked polymer. To understand the final output, uh, the formula of this uh, cross-linked polymer, uh, let us go with an e easy strategy. Look at this. This urea group can be written here. C double bond O N C double bond O N. This will be a repeating unit. I am writing the same molecule N C double bond O and N. And one more here N. C double bond O and N. And since it is having hydrogen on the sides, it will go for again uh, reactivity with the other methyl oil group and the chain will uh, go for continuity on all the direction. And here we have the CH2 group and with the NH and OH the reactivity condensation will take place. The same thing will happen here also and here with this that the CH2 OH that will go for continuous chain in the same way also CH2 continuously it will go. And the hydrogen here and the hydrogen here will react with the formaldehyde. I am writing this way. So the water molecule will get removed. And after the removal as you know the side the chain will continuously grow and you have a CH2 group attached to it. So this formaldehyde, uh, urea formaldehyde resin, they will go for cross-linking in all the direction and uh, it goes for a step growth type of polymerization and becomes very very tough and uh, strong. and uh, another classification is also available called as a homopolymerization or a heteropolymerization. What is a homopolymerization? Wherein only one type of monomer will go for uh, connectivity. It will go for polymerization. And in hetero type, two different types of uh, monomers will join uh, with each other and they grow in chain. Uh, let us take uh, one of the example. In art school, imagine the third standard students, they are coming out, all of them are boys and they um, uh, sit in the assembly. Um, the next um, the principal announced that uh, there is going to be a chief guest for the day's assembly. So the class teacher is requesting all the students of third standard to get up and uh, go and form human chain on either side of the row and sprinkle flowers uh, over the very important guest reaching for the assembly. After doing that, uh, they form a human chain. That means the student stretches their hands on either side uh, and start connecting with the neighbor. Before doing so in the assembly place, the boys were seated in a very close area in a way they occupy a little area. Now you have to understand the behavior of polymerization. When they join with the neighbor on left hand side and right hand side, the chain length will grow further and further. They become a very lengthy molecular structure. That we will learn as a polymerization. Imagine it is our school and only boys are there. It is a homo a polymerization type. If it is not a damn third standard, it's a co-education school, there you have both boys and girls. If they go for a human chain formation, then it is a combination of two types of human beings. 
So like that in polymerization, in co-polymerization, two different reactants, more than one reactant will participate in the polymerization process. That time the polymerization may be uh, different, the product formed is going to be different and uh, it will have a superior uh, behaviors. So that we talk about uh, co-polymerization. Is a type of polymerization reaction in which more than one kind of monomers polymerize to form a copolymer. Copolymers can be obtained by either chain growth polymerization or step growth polymerization. You already know that in contrast to copolymers, homopolymers are obtained by the polymerization of a single monomeric species. Here is a problem for you to try based on this concept. Identify the structures here as either a homopolymer or a copolymer. Structure A is a butadiene styrene copolymer, Buna S. The monomers used are 1,3-butadiene and styrene. Structure B is a homopolymer polystyrene. It is made from styrene monomers. Let us now understand how the properties of a copolymer differ from that of a homopolymer with a suitable example. Buna S, a butadiene styrene copolymer, is elastomeric and tough, as in this bicycle tire. In contrast, Polystyrene, a homopolymer, is brittle, as a mixture of two or more different monomers undergoes copolymerization. The copolymers produced have better physical and mechanical properties than homopolymers. For instance, the copolymerization of styrene with butadiene adds toughness and with acrylonitrile enhances resistance to impact. We have learned a lot about polymerization and um, uh, what are the different uh, types of polymers uh, and how do they go for uh, classification depending upon the reactivity and their uses we learned in the um, uh, polymerization area. In the next class, we will be talking about, uh, about rubbers and what are the different types of rubbers and we will be talking about uh, what are biodegradable polymers.